All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mortal Kombat 2 Remix. Uh, this particular playthrough is especially for uh, Jeremy F1901, who requested a playthrough with Liu Kang. I have no problem doing that, as this game is so much fun as it is to begin with. Let's do it with Liu Kang. Now, every button is a different color, so let's choose... Low kick. Okay. Now this is actually my favorite Mugen uh, that I've played. Um, I absolutely love this version. I think it's just done so well. Uh, Liu Kang. So all the characters in this have uh, three fatalities now. What does Liu Kang have in this one? Well, I'm going to tell you off the hop. Unfortunately, he has his uh, two original fatalities, and there's not much difference. Not much difference to them. Uh, he does have a new fatality, which I will do with uh, Raiden. Now, his combos, too, the, um, I'm so used to doing his combos from MK3 that... Uh, the inputs on this one are slightly different. Alright, there's his first fatality. What did he do? He punched your face off. Backhand to your face, knocked it off. That's what he does on this one. Kind of underwhelming, to be honest. Now, if you hear the music on this level, this is the uh, Pit 2 redone with the volcano. You have Hornbuck on the back with Blaze. You'll uh, notice the music. I've mentioned this before. Oh, the music is different. It was, it was in a promotional video, I believe, for Mortal Kombat 3. Liu Kang's got a couple of different combos. Got that one. Woo! I do love the animation for that one. Forward, forward, down, down, low kick. Let's see what the uh, stage rotation is like in this version. Right on. So this version, uh, this stage here, um, it's really cool because you got Shang Tsung, Shang Fun, and uh, Kintaro in the back also. You'll notice uh, Shang Fun with his uh, cape on too, which is really cool. Liu Kang has a uh, tricycle kick in this one, it's called. Which is just a forward, forward, low kick in the air. And the sound effects for Liu Kang are also from uh, MK4 also. So a mixture of MK2 and MK4, I believe. What are we going to do to Jade? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Let's dance. You got Shang Fun in the back, Shao Kahn, Kintaro, and we danced for all of them. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This stage looks good. Melina's color there, she has got some kind of weird orangish. Weird orangish color going. So I've said this before, this is like Mortal Kombat 2 on steroids. Uh, basically, it's just Mortal Kombat 2 playing like uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, in my opinion. Alright, let's do the, uh, let's do his infamous dragon fatality. Definitely notice 
more frames of animation when they do their fatalities. His winning pose even. Mortal Kombat 2, it looked like it was missing frames of animation, but it's perfect in this one. Moves, uh, it runs very smoothly. You'll notice something about uh, Dan Ford in there. He actually has a piece of buttered toast on his shirt sometimes. Which is uh, kind of fitting, you know, considering he's Dan Toasty Forden. Uh, this stage, I love the uh, the background, the uh, swirling. If you look, if you pay attention to the uh, background there, uh, how the portal is actually, you know, swirling. You can see the, uh, the dust kind of being sucked in. Really cool attention to detail. And uh, once again, a very underwhelming fatality, unfortunately. But uh, you know what? The game's still fun as hell, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> See if we get a couple of different stages going. Okay. I love Steve Ritchie's voice in this. He actually recorded it for uh, Shaolin Monks. Fatality would have been cool if they uh, cooler if they slowed it down a bit. Right, Goro Lair, are we already here? I can't remember. Whatever the case, this layer looks awesome. It's definitely an improvement. It's definitely an improvement from the original. I gotta be honest, the, uh, the music I like best for this stage is in the uh, Sega Genesis. <laughs> Digging this uh, mustard color on Liu Kang either. I kind of like the red. Alright, so let's pay homage to the tree demons. This thing looks fantastic in this version. Lots of detail. Ooh. So instead of down, down, forward, back, low kick, in this one it's down, 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 high kick for his babality. Little baby noob cybot. Tasty snacks for the tree demon. All right, this stage looks good. The music is on point. More detail in the background. Very cool. Oh, 
Justine! Gonna love that combo. This stage looks awesome. Let's turn uh, Baraka into a baby, actually. Let's see what baby Baraka looks like. Really cool as a kid. <laughs> noob Cyclops. Oh, sorry, we fought Smoke last time. What was the noob? When I turned uh, the other in, the other uh, character into the uh, baby, that was Smoke, not Noob. I did play this on very hard the other day, and I could not get past Noob Cyclops for the life of me. So that was one flaw with the, uh, the extreme difficulty. For these playthroughs, though, I like to tone it down just so I can have fun playing. You can see all the fatalities, the finishers. Please try. The uh, differences in that one, though the subtle ones, like the smoke coming out of his mouth, the uh, the growling, the uh, secret character. The only way to fight the uh, question mark character is by getting uh, by getting a perfect run, so no uh, no losses. You lose a round, you can't lose a match. So as long as we beat Scorpion, we will see the uh, the hidden battle. Scorpion has a very vulgar mouth in this one. He catches you with that uh, harpoon. You're screwed. Ooh, trying to do a little slick here. This about that fatality. I've actually grown to really appreciate it. <laughs> I like it. So there you go. No losses means we get to fight the elusive Hornbuckle. Which is a character that I think they really should have included in the latest Mortal Kombat. Hornbuckle basically green pants Liu Kang. A couple of extra moves. Awesome. So I actually turned the uh, damage uh, down a little bit in this because I noticed some of Liu Kang's combos would take off like, like that one would take off like 51% health, I believe. So to make the matches last a little longer, I just figured... Feel the power of chaotic. Feel the power of chaotic. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that was Hornbuckle's name. <laughs> Oh, just the fireball. There you go, into the pit. Oh, 
I still love the animation on that. It looks so good in this version. There you have it. Shang Fun, Kintaro, and Shao Kahn all fight in this arena. So I'm pretty sure we saw all the stages, maybe or most of the stages anyways. That move right there allows Shang Fun to do one of your moves. And that's it. He doesn't morph into uh, the opponent in this one like he does in the other versions. Shang Fun wins. turned into uh, Goro. Interesting. Alright, here we go. Different colored uh, Liu Kang. Liu Kang. <laughs> oh, no, not, not a different, a different color. Oh, still mustard. Uh, I probably pushed the same button. He had the toast on him. <laughs> Buttered toast. Shao Kahn. Your presence here is unwanted. Finish them, Kintaro. Nice. He's pissed off. Good. I like when I don't mess up combos against the bosses. Crap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now graphically, that right there all looks so cool. However, somebody made a good point uh, in the comments the other day. They said, oh crap, that the, uh, while the stadium looks good, the audience there, they're too far back. You know what? He is right. That audience is way the hell back there. They got the uh, cheap seats in the back there. All right, here we go. Is that your best? Feel the power of Shao Kahn. <laughs> Shoot, that's not the combo. <laughs> Still fairly easy though. You are finished. Ooh, I like that uppercut. It shows his power, it knocks you way the hell up there. Oh, 
there you have it, ladies Yo. and gentlemen. Just shy of a perfect run, fortunately. But we still got to see Shang Fun do a uh, do a fatality on Liu Kang. So there you have it. Once again, for uh, Jeremy F. Nineteen oh one. just trying to uh, translate what that said at the bottom. But you'll notice uh, his uh, ending end story here is high def. Looks really good. The artwork is done really good. The picture is blown up a bit, so it looks uh, even better. Very, very cool version of Mortal Kombat 2 Remix. Mugen. Uh, once again, we'll just let the credits roll, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of your life. Wait, part three?